Welcome back. A new restaurant in San Francisco's Fillmore is as much about its fried chicken as it is about history and community. Minnie Bell's Soul Movement is a homecoming for owner Fernay McPherson and symbolizes exciting times for small businesses in the district. Before we get to Fernay, I spoke with Vas Kniris, lo former longtime Fillmore Merchants Association president and current small business advocate and founder of Next SF about what this new eatery signals for the local economy. At one time, it was considered the Harlem of the West, and all the notables came through Fillmore. Um, musicians, poets, artists, everyone came through the Fillmore. And it, in, it, historically, it is and was an extremely vibrant community, and the merchants reflect that. So it's really exciting that uh, Minis has decided to open in the Fillmore. It's also considered the oldest merchant association in the city, um, after the 06 earthquake, when the rest of the city was burnt down, Fillmore was the main merchant corridor of San Francisco. And everyone, you know, locals, immigrants, they all swarmed to Fillmore. Joining me now is owner of Minnie Bells, Fernay yeah. McPherson herself. I mean, Fernay, I didn't realize you were going to be coming to us live from the restaurant. You must be so busy. It is. It's, it's, it's busy. It's exciting to see um, familiar faces, new faces. My background is a little loud, so I hope you can hear me okay. But yeah. I'm just excited to be able to talk to you in the space today. No, this is and thank you for having me on. Yeah, we are honored to have you. And we just heard a little bit about the history of the Fillmore. I learned some things myself. There is personal history opening along this corridor for you. Can you share that? Absolutely. So I'm third generation here in the Fillmore. Um, my dad is a native. My grandmother, my great aunt um, migrated here at a very young age. And when I started my culinary journey, you know, I wanted a space on Fillmore Street and, you know, look for many, many years to find a space um, before going to Emeryville. So to be able to bring the brand home now is very um, near and dear to my heart. It's incredible. I wanted to be able to represent that bygone era. Yeah, and speaking of the bygone era, you have a beautiful mural that is on your wall inside the restaurant, and there are two very significant people on that. Can you share a little bit about who they are? So it's my great aunt Minnie and my grandmother Lily Bell. So they were my inspiration to cook and I felt like the only way to bring them on this journey with me was to name the business after me, after them. Um, my great aunt Minnie is 91. So she saw the mural for the first time on Thursday when we did our ribbon cutting. Um, it was a, it was a surprise. So she had no idea that her, her picture was up there along with my grandmother. So she, she just cried and it was just a really surreal moment to be able to honor her and give her her flowers while oh. she's still here. I, I think we're looking at a photo of her at the ribbon cutting and I have goosebumps because the smile on her face and to see so many community members. I am always amazed by the amount of support that certain programs give to small businesses and that applies to you with the Dream Keepers Initiative. How did this program supported uh, by the mayor play a role here? So the Dreamkeepers Initiative was huge in me coming back to the city. The city um, in this initiative actually called me and asked me if I would be willing to come and open up Mini Bells in San Francisco. And instantly the answer was yes. So it, the program is huge on bringing black businesses back to this historic black neighborhood. And I think it's so important that we do that. Like when you walk down the street, you would never know the history of the neighborhood. So I think it's amazing um, that this revitalization is happening. I am so excited to be a part of it. And I'm just looking forward to more to come because it's definitely more to come under this initiative. Yeah, it's such an exciting time. And you look at the demographic right now of the businesses in that corridor, and there are not a lot of you guys, right, opening small businesses. What do you hope for going forward for your customers as well to learn a little bit about why you're there? You know, when you walk into the restaurant, there is a mural of Fillmore Street back in the 60s. And it's um, it just represents so much of the history. My father, who is a native, he can just point out so many things in that picture about what he remembered growing up. 
And it's nothing that, you know, I saw in my generation of being here in the Fillmore. So being able to just represent that bygone era and at the same time give give history of what used to be here for people coming in that may not know, I think is so important. When I go into restaurants, I love to leave with a story. So I want people to be able to not only leave having an amazing meal, but learning some history about the neighborhood. Oh, that's so exciting to hear. And I'm very proud of you <laughs> on a personal level. I can't wait to try some of this famous chicken for myself one day. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And I look forward to having you in. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much, Renee. Talk to you soon.